Luka Doncic has been one of the best ballers in the NBA for a number of years now, and yet he still manages to blow fans away every time he gets on the court. Coming up big, left side of the floor, Luka's three is a ring. But take this from us. His life off the court will have you even more blown away. From growing up in Slovenia to earning NBA MVP kind of money, here's Luka Doncic's lifestyle. Taking it back to where it all started, Luka was born in Ljubljana, Slovenia, back in February 1999. Yeah, yeah, when you think of NBA players who grew up in Europe, Giannis Antetokounmpo and even Nikola Jokic, who all had very different childhoods, come to mind. Well, Luka didn't have such a difficult time growing up which is mostly because both his parents were pretty famous athletes. Sure, they weren't as well known as Luka is today, but his dad, Sada Doncic, played basketball professionally in Slovenia for nearly two decades. During his time, he won two Slovenian Premier A-League, three Slovenian Cups, and a Slovenian Super Cup, as well as featuring for the Slovenian national basketball team at the FIBA Eurobasket Championship in 2005. Luka's mom, Miriam Potterbin, on the other hand, was a big-time model and business entrepreneur, who participated in the 1993 Miss Slovenia pageant. So yeah, they were essentially a celebrity couple in Slovenia back in the day. Although they got divorced in 2008 and his mom got custody and legal guardianship, both Luca's parents played important roles in bringing him up. In fact, his dad, who is now a basketball coach, was his first trainer, while his mom still manages him to date. Being born to a professional baller, Luca touched a basketball for the first time when he was only seven months old and hasn't looked back since then. From getting his first miniature hoop at age one to being thrown into games with 11-year-olds when he was just seven, Lucas started putting in the work way earlier than most of his mates. And it all paid off. By the time this dude was eight, he had gotten into the U11 team for his hometown club, which his dad just joined, Union Olympia. And a few years later, in September 2012, he got signed by Spanish giants Real Madrid on a five-year deal at the young age of 13. And from there, it was up, up, and away. Before we continue with the video, I need your help. It won't cost you a thing and is as simple as one click, yet it will go a long way to ensuring that we can keep creating bigger and better videos for you. So please, click that subscribe button. Luca was so ahead of his age mates, he made his senior debut for the team at 15, becoming the youngest ever player for Real Madrid and the third youngest in ACB history. Pretty impressive, but Luca was just getting started. Over the next four seasons, this guy won everything with and for Real Madrid. And we mean that quite literally. He won the EuroLeague Rising Star and ACB Best Young Player Awards twice each, the Liga ACB Championship thrice, the Spanish Kings Cup twice, the FIBA Intercontinental Cup title once, the EuroLeague Championship becoming the youngest ever winner of the EuroLeague MVP Award, the Liga ACB MVP Award, and the Euroscar Player of the Year Award. Perhaps the honor that sums it all up is the fact that this dude hardly spent four years as a pro in Europe, but was so good that he was named to the EuroLeague 2010 20 All Decade Team in 2020. Having obviously conquered the entire continent, Luca had nothing else to prove, so he opted for the 2018 NBA Draft. Got selected with the third overall pick by the Atlanta Hawks before going to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for the draft rights to Trey Young and a protected future first round pick in 2019. And the rest, as they say, is history. This dude legit joined the elite class of LeBron, MJ, Tyreek Evans, and Oscar Robertson when he averaged 21.2 points, 6.0 assists, 7.8 rebounds to become the unanimous Rookie of the Year. And since then, he has made five All-Star teams, the same as his close friend Nikola Jokic, who's been in the league for nine seasons and has been named to the All-NBA first team four times. Currently, his NBA career average is an impressive 28.5 points, 8.6 rebounds, and 8.2 assists in 381 regular season games. The Dallas Mavericks made an effort to have Luka on their roster to replace legendary power forward Dirk Nowitzki, who was in his final season back in 2019. And Luka might yet bring a championship back to Dallas, but he has definitely surpassed the expectations for individual impact on the team. Take him surpassing Nikola Jokic to become the fastest player to reach 100 games of leading the same team in points, rebounds, and assists in a single match, for example. Or him having a mind-blowing 68 career triple doubles and having 40 40 plus point games. These are just a couple of the endless list of records Luka holds that highlight how important he is for the Mavericks team. The most recent of these records is from January 26, 2024 when Doncic scored an outstanding 73 points in the Mavericks' 148-143 win over the Atlanta Hawks. 
This game made him only the fourth player in league history to put up 72 or more points in a game, and the first to ever score up to 70 points while shooting 75% from the field. If nothing else, his shooting of 25 to 33 overall with eight three-pointers showed how all-around Luka can be. He's not just a big man who charges at the paint, but also an extremely versatile player with insane basketball IQ and athleticism for his age and size. Of all the major honors he could receive in the NBA, the only things left are a season's MVP award and a championship ring. For the MVP award, well, the wait is pretty much over if you ask us. Given the way Luka has turned up this 2023-24 campaign, averaging a league leading 34.3 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 9.6 assists, and 1.5 steals on 49.2% field goal and 37.9% three-point shooting, Man, it's hard to argue anyone deserves the award more than him. Sure, the likes of Nikola Jokic and the Oklahoma City Thunder star Shai Gilgis Alexander are having MVP worthy seasons. However, even the Celtics main man, Jason Tatum, is in the conversation. But solely based on the numbers, Luka is ahead of all these dudes. The only other criterion worth taking note of is where the Mavericks finish their regular season in the West, particularly considering that Jokic's Nuggets. Shai's OKC, and Tatum's Celtics are all doing better on paper than the Mavericks. For now. However, there are still a lot of games to go, and it's almost a certainty right now that the Mavs will at least make a top six finish. So Luka's long-awaited MVP award is still very attainable in our books. The other honor he's yet to claim is the NBA championship. And that's admittedly a bit more complicated. Why? Simple. A championship can't be won by only one man. It has been clear for a while now that Luka is the man for the Mavericks to build their team around. However, for most of his time in Dallas, he hasn't had enough support. For four of his six seasons in Dallas, Luka has been the only player to average up to 20 points for the entire season. Now, we're not saying the likes of Tim Hardaway Jr., Jalen Brunson, and Christos Porzingis are bad players. But the problem the Mavericks have had is having all their star players perform consistently in the same season. With Porzingis and Brunson gone now, Kyrie Irving teaming up with Luka has turned out to be a big step in the right direction for the Mavericks. But more reinforcements are needed, which is why the team made sure to get something from the recently concluded trade deadline. Bringing in PJ Washington for the starting forward position and Daniel Gafford as a center is a pretty commendable job done by GM Nico Harrison. The two guys are experienced ballers who will be looking to impress and get back to their peaks. With Luka and Kiri leading the offense, the addition of a solid backbone in Gafford and Washington could prove to not only make their playoff push easier, but also play a major part in taking the Mavericks all the way. How that turns out, we'll have to wait and see. What we can confirm for you now is that Luka is getting paid quite equally for how good of a baller he is. On getting drafted, his first deal in the NBA was worth $32.5 million over four years, with an annual salary of $8.1 million. Definitely a whole lot of money, but it's nothing compared to what came next. Before we continue, did you know our purpose at Sportivations is to create valuable and exciting content? But we can't do it without you. Your support will go a long way in allowing me and my team to achieve our goals, so make sure you subscribe. After a couple of stellar All-Star seasons, the Mavericks extended his stay in 2021 with a deal worth a whopping $215,159,700 over five years. This means he's now earning over $43 million a year. That's more than his entire rookie deal was worth, and it gets better. According to an NBA financial analyst, if Doncic makes an all-NBA team in 2023-24, which he most likely will, his deal will get upgraded to a Supermax contract that can reach $367.5 million and make Luka the first player in NBA history to make $80 million in a single season. Now that's some crazy stuff. Contract money is cool, but Luka Doncic doesn't stop there. This guy makes another $10 million annually from just his endorsement deals. One of these deals is his multi-million dollar shoe deal with Air Jordan, which he got after his two-year deal with Nike ran out in 2019. He also has deals with NBA 2K, Panini, Jumpman, Bose, Modelo, Nerf, and Overwatch. And oh, Luca has also made some investments in sports nutrition company Biosteel, just to tell you how much he doesn't joke with his money. So how does he spend all the money he makes? Regular European NBA dudes aren't so flashy. So he's probably like his buddy Jokic, who doesn't spend too much, right? Wrong. First, this Slovenian guy loves to spend on cars. His impeccable collection says it all. A Lamborghini Urus customized by Mansory that cost more than $220,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S of about the same price, 
Another Porsche, this time a $100,000 Panamera e-Hybrid, an Audi A7 that cost him $85,000, a $61,000 1967 Ford Bronco, and one of his favorites, a monstrous blacked out apocalypse proof Hellfire Jeep that's worth at least $200,000. To keep it real with you, very few NBA players can match up to this guy's garage. Speaking of his garage, it's a bit weird that his house has only a four car garage, but what else is going on in his home? First, it's not just a home, it's a mansion. Luca's mansion is in Preston Hollow, Dallas, and it cost him a whopping $2.7 million. This 5,225 square foot property was originally owned by an architect before being expanded and improved by John Huffman in 2017. The property features four bedrooms and five bathrooms, a breathtaking garden with a sleek swimming pool, large windows, a smart home system, and an exquisite outdoor space with a drop-down movie projection screen, multiple flat-screen TVs, and a pavilion with grill and built-in heaters. There's also a fire pit area between the living room and master bedroom, a projector for the pool area, and that four-car garage we mentioned earlier, which has transparent doors. Lastly, it had interest you to know that the Dallas Maverick superstar doesn't stay in this mansion alone, but with his gorgeous fiance, Ana Maria Goltas. The two met as 12-year-olds in Croatia and managed to keep their friendship till they became adults, despite Goltas schooling at the University of Ljubljana and Luka chasing his basketball dream. They eventually began dating in 2016 and had a brief split in 2018 before getting back together and making their relationship public. Luka only just proposed to Goltas in Lake Bled, Slovenia in July 2023 and gave birth to their first child, a baby girl named Gabriella, in early December 2023. The couple lived together in Dallas, where Ana Maria works as a social media influencer, a dancer, and a model, so it's only a matter of time before they officially get married. It would be nice to see that wedding come later this year, hopefully after Luca bags his first NBA MVP award.